Okay, hey, how's it going? Okay, my name is Ben, and you found the Mormon Light channel. And what I try to do is I try to just share stuff that I can from the Book of Mormon and other things just to help people understand what Mormons believe and to answer questions. And I was doing something today. I was working on watering my lawn, and I stood on the pavement. I was looking at the grass and I saw the sprinklers spraying onto the grass. And I was looking into the sun and it was really cool because because of that perspective, I could see every single particle of water as it was flying through the air. And I could see what areas of the grass it was hitting. So I could have a really good idea of if the sprinklers were set up correctly. And what I did is I walked around and I looked from the other side to see into to look at the sprinklers with the sun behind me. And it was really interesting because it seemed as if the sprinkler water like disappeared um, because I was looking away from the light. And I was thinking about that. I'm like, man, that's a really good kind of parable for something that's mentioned in the Book of Mormon. It actually tells you the way to judge between good and evil. In Moroni chapter seven, um, there's a warning given to make sure that you don't judge things that are evil to be good or vice versa. Don't judge things to be good that are evil. Okay, and so the way to judge, according to Moroni, is he says, Now, my brethren, seeing that you know the light by which you may judge, which is the light of Christ, see that you do not judge wrongfully. And then in verse 19 it says, Wherefore I beseech of you, brethren, that you should search diligently in the light of Christ, that you may know good from evil. So, what does that mean, though? Um, from my, what I'm, I've been thinking about this, um, and what I've kind of discovered in my mind is that if you have a question or you have a worry or a concern. You're going to find the answers as you look towards the light of Christ, as you look towards God, and as you look to Him and to Christ to be part of the solution. Um, you'll be able to see clear, a lot more clearly things than you could if you were to turn your back on them and to try to solve your answer or resolve a worry <clears throat> or concern by turning your back on God or on Christ because Jesus Christ is the light. He illuminates the whole world. He can banish darkness. And as you guys have problems and worries and concerns, just I would just challenge you to look through the lens of Christ and of God. Look towards them for a solution and look towards the gospel of Jesus Christ and don't try to solve your problems by looking away from them. Because if you look away from them, there's going to be darkness and things are going to be fuzzy. Just as I turned around to look at the sprinklers and couldn't see, I could see very little water. It almost appeared as if the sprinklers weren't even on. So just thought I'd leave that thought with you guys. This is the Book of Mormon. It is a book of scripture comparable to the Bible. The difference being the Book of Mormon was written by ancient prophets on the American continent. The Bible, of course, was written by prophets who lived um, in Jerusalem in that area. Uh, but this book was written for our day. And if you'd like a free copy, there's a link in the description. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll get to them. But I know the Book of Mormon is the Word of God. And that was just a a little parable or thought that I wanted to share with you guys tonight. We'll catch you some other time.